welcome to episode 49 of the Youth Squad Legends series with AFC Wimbledon. As we moved into this new season, I had one wish for this game not to throw that many great names at me because we are quickly running out of squad space. Let's have a look at the squad hub. 45 players in the team. And what does the game do? Give me loads of very, very good names. So it's going to take an absolute age to get through these and see who we really should be signing. Of course, it was Christmas a couple of days ago, so we've not been able to do the preseason tournament, which is a shame. I would have loved to do that. Herbert Apondo from FC Cincinnati is a Ugandan central defensive midfielder. Then we have Ventura Cleveland of New York City FC. Man's called Ventura. Robin Risky, <laughs> and then the Swiss goalkeeper Levin Minder. Amazing. There's a Nandule in the save, a striker as well. Runar Alex Johansson Pando. Rasmus Linner. Daniel Daniel. So good, they named him twice. Anderson Palulu. I mean, how could you not? Kelly Ruddock Truebridge. Getting them Mpanzu vibes. Charles Carolus Fontaine. Wilder Balanta. Virgil Lung. Jesus Polo. He's called Shrek. There's a Chinese centre back on the free agents that basically is DK. Sparring is in my game. Someone that will definitely not be signing is a guy called Heil. Amit Sat. Okachukwu Gong. Man, why are you throwing these good names at me? Jackson Plata, elite Colombian name. You see, Darnell Butterfield is a great name, but it's certainly not a great name. So, I mean, like, we're going to have to remove him from the shortlist. I'm taking Darnell Butterfield off a shot. How can you be taking someone called Darnell Butterfield out? Man's called Ronaldo Augusto Chapman. Axel Jr. Jack Iron, a centre back called Iron. Reese Dicker. There's your penis jokes. David Rui de Con Cardoso, who I'm being told might have appeared in a Nuremberg video very recently. Chavango Jr. has been multiplying in the save. Man's called Richie Ruffles. Kelvin Brill. Sean Swift. Remy Medley. Are you a breakfast bar? And then there's like an 83 on the free agents as well. But the best of all, we haven't shown you the best of all. The player that has made his way already into the team, all right? It's this Japanese goalkeeper who probably is pronounced Koki Fuji, but it's Koki Fuji, in it? It's Koki Fuji. Cock Fudge. Nah, mate. Might have to offer between 400,000 and 570,000. So 500,000 is probably going to sway it off. Oh, there is Durante with his Christmas lights. Probably should talk you through the transfer budget. We actually had 14 million to spend, but 10 million has gone already because we have upgraded the stadium. We've moved back to Plough Lane. Excellent work by everybody involved. All the planners, all the builders. Yes, lads. The good thing is this is going to be quite easy. One in. One out. Cocky Fudgy has been signed. And that is sad news for Patrick Andreasen. He's been a victim. He's not called Cone. He's not called Cocky Fudgy. He's not Enzo Body. And he hasn't got five star skill moves. Centre back springs to mind. Also, wingers. I think Anderson Palulu is the next target. Let's get Palulu signed up. I think that we've had a couple of Angolans on Youth Squad Legends, but nothing significant. So. Hopefully, Anderson Palulu is the first great Angolan. Definitely want to be signing up a striker, but the signing of Obi Jekers really has thrown me because I don't usually get someone with that lower skill moves and then look how good he's turned out to be. I want to approach Felix Xander. I mean, like, he's an 83 overall centre-back. He's already valued at £125 million. But he'll be fine with a wage of about 3000 Insane. All right, a bit deceiving it seems, but I mean, still £10,000 for a player of that quality. Absolutely. Saying goodbye to Axel Jr., which is heartbreaking, but everything's heartbreaking at this moment in time. Herbert Pondo's gone. Baba Kambon, loan listed. Zimri Amolo has been transfer listed, unfortunately. Yeah, was he involved in that 4-1 against Norwich? Whatever it was, he played a game and he got annihilated, ripped apart. Kossi Wamplu also should be on the loan list here. Johannes Schneck is on the loan list. Saki Savan transfer listed. This is one of the most disappointing things because 
I always had a soft spot for Sarkis Savad. The loan really didn't work out for him. He's only gone up by two. And with Eden Payton going into that position as well, there really is no place for him. There's no place for Sarkis Savad. So I don't want to be moving that many players on. It's mostly loans. There's Cocky Fudgy being signed. I don't even know if Kirill Bondarchuk was on the loan list, but we're getting a loan for Kirill Bondarchuk. Uh, he's gone up to 72. He's actually higher now than Boris Stiapovic. But is he totally necessary in the plans for this season? Uh, not really. I think we could allow him to go on loan for another season. Zimri Amolo is glad that they've decided to sell him. Unreasonable by Zimri Amolo. This is a transfer offer for Sarkis Savan from Ipswich Town. And a loan offer for Elvis Bonoza. So two strikers out the way. Where are they getting two million pounds from? Zimri Amolo surely is not worth two million pounds. Oh, we got a loan offer for Ruben Cook. Wasn't on the loan list, but similar to Kirill Bondarchuk here, he could actually benefit a lot from another loan out. So, Huddersfield, you're getting a good player, I think. That is Sarkis Savan gone. £730,000 loan offer for Goose Zwinkles. Valentin Carbio also attracting some interest, but he has really been the star of the loan show, moving up to a 68 overall. Amolo's gone to QPR. It's just over £2 million. Now, a loan offer for Schneg. Schneg it up there. We've got ourselves into the semi finals after two wins in the group stage. Ruben Cook has been loaned out a lot of transfer activity. Two more loan offers in for Schneg. Goose Winkles has been loaned out. We're into the final loan offer for Edgar Diskerud, except looks like Patrick Andreasen's on his way. Ridiculous. Are we going to win this final? Yes, we are. International Cup victors. Loan offer for Obi Jackers. The cheek of it. Baba Kambon attracting interest. Loan offer for Guy Marslin Pangop. Then transfer offers for Meredith Ellis. See, Meredith Ellis has his own piece of history at this club. And I think if I sold him, there would potentially be war in the comment section. So uh, I'm going to block offers. Andreasen sold another loan offer for Kossi Wamplu. Loan offer for Nitin Hello. And Breathe, that's got us to the start of the new championship season. I think maybe we just crack on, get the first game out of our system. I think we've disappointed a few people with Edval Disco's name and for that, I do apologize. We're looking into it. Teams at 45 players. Maximum number 52. Seven spaces. Opening day at Plough Lane. Opening day of this season. AFC Wimbledon against Aston Villa. This might be the championship winning campaign. I hope so. Try and get some more silverware. I'm being told that when it's finished, it'll look similar to Malton Road, which is interestingly also the stadium of the MK Dons, but we'll look past it. It's just a clean slate for some people and then for others it's just carry on what you were doing last season Django Swinkles on the attack it's Mikel Okonkwo Surely extra season in the championship will do us no harm whatsoever it'll probably do us good because there was no real reason in justifying a ridiculous stat increase these players were never going to be of Premier League standard might have taken a few Nightmarish results along the way. One, two with Obi Jackers. A Conquo's in again. Go on, a Conquo! Oh, this time it misses. Imagine your way all that time for someone like Obi Jackers, and then a Conquo just breaks his record the season after. Obi Jackers shot save, not saved. Eric Melville's though. We try again. It's a great through ball. Oh, little bit of a foul there. Door caught by Ed Valdisco. There's a turn by Obi Jackers, and he's on his way. Obi Jackers started his championship. Scoring by getting a goal against Aston Villa last season. And he's done it again here. Obi Jackers makes it 3-0 inside a silly amount of time. We are flying. 20 minutes hasn't passed. Okay, here comes the keeper. Enzo Bardiwai. Bright Chateau back heel. Oh, lovely by those two. It's Bright Chateau into the midfield. I want to sneeze. I'm going to sneeze. <coughs> Django Swinkles, a conquo. 
absolutely gorgeous and a beautiful ball there to Calamo, Flannery, Okonkwo, oh, Django, unbelievable how they've kept this out, seeing a bit of liveliness in Mikel Okonkwo, in fact, you know what, I think I realised it, what has happened to Mikel Okonkwo's thickness, did he genuinely go to Dubai, Calamo, Flannery, oh, that's a stretch isn't it, Obby Jack has might, Keep that in. Oh. Calamo Flannery. Keep it in. Oh, fantastic by Calamo Flannery. He keeps on running. Sets up Mikel Okonkwo and Django Swinkles. Now that is a break of the ages. Adam Nichols up to Okonkwo and sets up Obi Jack as easy as that. It's 5 0. We just beat Aston Villa 5 0. Senior career goals for Obi Jack as now stands at 68. Incredible to think that he'd not even made a single appearance a year ago. So we're going to take £2 million out of our transfer budget. We genuinely did send Bright, Chateau and Okonkwo to Dubai up their stamina. Also, it looks like Okonkwo did lose the weight. Played incredibly well. Okonkwo's out for seven days. He's been training too much. Okonkwo's not made it back in time. So what I'm thinking, maybe we sign up a striker and give him a chance immediately. Eyes are on Streveza Rebicato. It's got to happen. He does have... All the makings of a very good player. Strevezo Rebicato is in. It's a lot of money to be laying down. Over four and a half million pounds. He's got his entire name on the back of his shirt. QPR against AFC Wimbledon. There's a realisation that there's no Pennington end anymore. Because we've moved stadiums. Oh, that's not a great start. QPR strike immediately. There's a ball in. Yes! There he is! Oh, it's a goal! Strevezo Rebicato! First touch! He's first touch! Not a bad way to introduce yourself that. Great work by the midfielders to keep that thing alive. I thought Django Swinkles was going to get injured or hurt. He is injured. I did say that as like Salt was going to get more game time, so here he goes. He's a very good creative player. Here goes Obi Jackers to turn this thing around. Obi Jackers. This man's finishing is on another level. Slide tackle coming in. Goalkeeper covering most of the goal. No problem. Bottom corner. Oh, come on now, boys. How on earth has that not gone in? Oh, this absolute wall of a man has got some technical ability. He looks unstoppable. I've just seen Anderson Palulu control the ball with his gentleman sausage. Oh, don't say Calamo Flannery has now got an injury. What is happening? Injured or not injured? Oh, he's not injured! He's not injured! Yes, Calamo Flannery! Strafezo! Control! Finish! Oh! Yes, me! He's had two shots. He scored two goals. Cannot complain. This has suddenly got dangerous, and I didn't look on with Dalibor Bekic. Oh, they got another chance blocked off. That's massive. Absolutely huge by Dalibor Bekic. What a moment in the match that is. Okay. Okay. Oh, that's like Sol. <sighs> that's like Sol is proper underrated. Like, proper underrated. Ed Valdisco, it's been coming, hasn't it? QPR had 16 shots, nine on target, only scored three. We only had the four shots, three on target. Got a draw out of it. So if you're an As Like Salt fan, stand by. This is his moment. Meredith Ellis, we're accepting a one-year loan for him. It's time for some cocky fudgy. AFC Wimbledon against Blackburn Rovers in the Carabao Cup. Yes, cocky fudgy player debut. Forget Xander, the 83 overall centre back that we've got on show right now. It's all about cocky fudgy. Hey, if this is how good Della Ball Beckage is going to be in the future, then I'm all for it. I didn't show you before. This is hilarious, right? Diego Saavedra, a Bolivian that we scouted, has the same face as Ronald Chavez. There's a ball. Lovely. The weight on it was perfect. Knitting, hello. It's an absolute gift for him. Valentin Corbio! Oh! Everything's aligned for him. The injury to Django Swinkles. The fact that he had a wonderful loan move. Oh my goodness. Oh my Boris! 
What an absolute peach. That was stunning. All right, that was like prime Boris Stiopovic. 100% his best goal yet. That was individual brilliance. Missed tackle. Valentin Carbiar has totally bottled it. Everything was there for him to perform well, and he hasn't, and he's now facing the exit door. All right, Eric Melville. Get that ball right. Boris is onside, and he's got again. Lovely by Boris Stiopovic. Is this the rebirth? Oh, that is a banger. Fair play. So that guy's completely onside. Here we go. This will be interesting. Xander Topo. A massive Topo. What kind of leg muscles have you got working there? All right. Valentin Carbiar's a fraud and he'll never play for this club ever again. 3-2 Wimbledon. Nitinello played that game. He's just loaned out. And Randy Kunde has gone as well. Loan offer for Yo Chu Wan. You don't have a guy called Ronaldo Augusto Chapman drop into your save and completely ignore him. Time out, toilet break. I need to think this through. Six players on the shortlist. How many players are in my squad? 47. That leaves five. One has to be cut, and it's going to be Johansson Pando. Everybody else, I think I'm going to sign. He's got to be a confident centre back with that hair. We had a deal in place with New York City for Ventura Cleveland but we don't have the money at the moment. Try to swap deal with Valentin Carbiar wasn't happening. So we're going to have to just wait around a little bit. I don't really want to say it because I know how uh, much love Kamal Tim Cena is to people. He's quite literally not suitable in any position. I'm really sorry. I know that's going to disappoint people, but we are putting him onto the transfer list. Fed up of making tough, tough decisions. This has been Cutsy. Thank you for watching this episode of Youth Squad Legends. If you've enjoyed it, then please give the video a like. If you're not subscribed around here yet, then press the red box down below and the bell icon for mobile notifications. I will see you next time. <laughs>